The best thing about my job is working with students and teaching them how to taste and enjoy foods, but also unpack the science behind what makes food fantastic. My name is Professor Heather Smythe and I'm a sensory and flavour chemist at the University of Queensland. Food is amazing, everybody enjoys food, everyone can relate to, to enjoying food. So when we smell a food product or taste a food product, we interpret the flavours and sensory properties of that food in that same location of the brain where we experience emotion and long-term memories. Often those compounds that are present in food are breakdown products of things like essential amino acids, essential fatty acids. So really, flavour is a signal in food for us to seek out food experience that are nutritionally beneficial to eat. So we're attracted to foods that are good for us. Day to day, we do a lot of sensory tastings and we'd also be doing analysis in the laboratory upstairs, looking at the chemistry of those foods and trying to identify what is it there that the consumers really enjoy. So from day to day, a lot of eating. <laughs> I never realised at school that being a sensory scientist was a job. I was good at the, the maths and the sciences at school and ended up going and doing a Bachelor of Science. And I have to say, by the end of that, I wasn't really sure what sort of career I was going to have. It was a little bit dull talking to people across the dinner table. And then after that, I moved into doing a PhD in wine flavour chemistry, which tied not only the chemical aspects of wine, but also the, the human sensory aspects of wine and, then, and a lot of statistics there to pull all of that together. And that really is where my career began. So when we're tasting food, we really need to think about all of the sensory properties of the food. First up are the visual aspects of the food. So you can see they're nice, brightly coloured, a lovely red colour to the strawberry. We also might like to think about the aroma of these strawberries. So we might smell them. Oh, beautiful fragrance from those berries. So then we would taste the product as well. Mm. Nice and crisp and firm, just what you'd like from a strawberry, not too soft. A lovely sweetness there, but that is balanced with some acidity, which is what you really want from a good quality strawberry. So for these honeys, for instance, I've got two slightly different coloured honeys, but when we use an orange light in our booths, we can actually disguise the colour of these honeys so that a sensory panellist can't tell the difference and they have to focus on the senses of smell and taste to be able to describe the properties of the food. My advice to students interested in moving into this space would be follow your passions. The world needs food. The world needs intelligent people thinking about the problems with food and climate change. We need more clever people working in food science. Keep following your way through. You'll end up having a career like mine where you can just love going to work every day.